we're off to Brighton. Quiva's here. Mm -hmm. Bobby's here. And uh, yeah, it should be fun going to Brighton. What's Brighton known for? Brighton is London by the sea. It has an amazing pier, which dogs aren't allowed on. So we're gonna Sorry, see, Bobby. see how that goes. Okay. And it's got um, a pleasure palace that was built by some prince. Okay. Loads of lanes, interesting shops, lots of things to see and do. Nice. It's gonna be good, yeah. Great. So it should be lots of fun. It's another beautiful day here in the south coast of England. And uh, we're currently in Polgate, but Eastport is known as the sunshine capital of the UK. Okay. Mm, the sunniest place. Calm down with the capital. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even the know what sunniest, I'm saying. Pla sunniest place in the UK. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we're just waiting for the train and uh, yeah, let's go. Welcome to Brighton. We are going, first stop is a place called the North Wall. And uh, Quiva said it's worthwhile to check out. Uh, Eastbourne is busier, or uh, Brighton's busier than uh, Hastings. North Lane. Right? And we're going to North, North Lane? North Lane. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're going to check it out. Quiva has a project today. What are you looking for? I'm looking for sari cushions. Okay. Made out of saris. Out of saris. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're on the hunt. <laughs> the first place was how much? Eight pounds. Too much. Too much. Yeah. Found this pop-up art gallery here in Brighton, and uh, it's 3D, so that's why I'm wearing these glasses. And uh, yeah, the staff here are very nice. Uh, I asked to do if I could do an inter interview uh, about the art gallery, and the gentleman said come back Friday because the artist will be here, and it'll be a better interview for for myself. So I may come back Friday to get that interview, but it's a pretty cool spot. Love pop-up art galleries. Quiva does too. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. What time is it, Quiva? One o'clock. She's right again. Best part of the day, wine and tapas. Yeah. So far, so far. Okay. Anything you want to add in Spanish? Uh, <laughs> my Spanish is so different. <laughs> Benito and Brighton. Two glasses of wine, so uh, if it don't make any sense, you can blame Quiva here. here. So, where, where are we? The Royal Pavilion. Royal Pavilion. So let's go check it out. Here we are in Pavilion Gardens, Brighton. My name's Damien. I'm a busker here. I'm here most days. And um, yeah, there's a lot of competition, there's lots of other buskers, so I try to squeeze in an hour slot, maybe two sometimes, and uh, it's great fun. Yeah. It's, a, it's a lovely way to sort of, uh, you know, spend your afternoon in the sunshine with everybody. Brighton's great because there's a lot of people on holiday here, so everybody's keen to sort of smile and enjoy themselves and have some pleasure. And I think that feeds off on everybody, and uh, it's... Uh, it's a nice chilled place and it's lovely to play music for people and uh, to watch them smile and maybe dance occasionally. Is that the best part of being a busker here? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Then the compliments that you get for your music and the comments are great. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's really heartwarming stuff really. Um, music's very important to people, um, to, to, so to perform for them whilst they're uh, chilled out in a lovely garden setting like this and uh, supporting the atmosphere and perhaps providing the soundtrack i'm i'm paraphrasing the comments i've received from other people you know that's great that's a great awesome. thing to be doing how long you how long you been playing music for oh i've been playing music for a very long time um i've been singing since the age of eight and i've been playing gu guitar since the age of 18 so almost 40 years now 
And what's um, some of your music inspirations? Um, yeah, I'm I'm really fond of a, an artist called Nick Drake, who was about in the late 60s, early 70s. Okay. Uh, Finger-picking style, folky style, um, almost classical style. Okay. Uh, he's probably my favourite artist, but I'm, I'm eclectic, I, I pick up all sorts, really. Okay, awesome. Yeah, you, music is one of my passions. Uh, my, bless you. My other passions are cricket. I play a lot of cricket, particularly in the summer, and I coach kids. Um, Sporting-wise, my other passion is golf. I try to play golf every day, uh, which at my age is, is surprisingly cheap, so uh, that's quite handy. And academically speaking, my, my interest is archaeology, um, particularly in the local area. But uh, anywhere that has a Bronze Age, I'm very, very interested in uh, archaeology. Okay, um, yeah, and I just wanted to say, um, if anyone does want to contact me, I have an email address. Uh, I'm not particularly uh, computer savvy these days. I spent 30 years in front of a computer in an office, huh. and uh, I don't really fancy doing a great deal of it now. Uh, but my email address is Damien, which is D-A-M-I-A-N, dot C dot B-O-L-G-E-R at gmail.com and I'd uh, be very pleased to hear from you. Thanks so much for the chat, Damien. Pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, Damien, for giving a great little interview there. really appreciate it. We're really surprised how open people are in Brighton, eh? Yes. Yeah. Very friendly people here. Definitely recommend visiting if you're in the south of England. And we're right now headed to the pier. where we are. Where are we exactly? <laughs> We're gonna go into the lanes just now. Do you want to okay. see the map? Yeah, let's see the map. Um, so we were here earlier, the Brighton Dome, yeah. and we are here. Okay. About to go into the lanes. Wish us luck. If we don't make it out, call our <laughs> Currently at the Bath Arms, we're obviously having a drink. So Bobby's having a drink, and he got treats from the <laughs> Bath Arms. So thank you, Bath Arms. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I don't know how to categorize the lanes. How would you categorize the lanes? Um, the lanes are like really tiny shopping streets. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, jewelers in here. It's a really old part of town. Mm -hmm. There's it, there's a friends meeting house as well. You know, like the Quakers. It's quite nearby. So this one, we're really near Meeting House Lane. Yeah right now but yeah loads of places to eat a few pubs um, and just kind of tiny and interesting yeah it's kind of quirky That's like really quirky it's yeah quirky. we just realized some more history about the bath arms what shall it be okay i'm reading it i'm reading it from the thing on the on the side it says the bath arms are the oldest licensed premises actually in the original lanes established in 1864 and the lanes were originally a warren of fishing cottages so there you go interesting stuff So we just sat down for dinner and Quiva has a craving for Italian, so we are at a place called Bella Italia. Manja Manja. We ordered wine. How's the wine, Quiva? The wine is okay. I would give it maybe 5 out of 10. Not amazing. Not amazing. Paul has ordered the entire menu. <laughs> so... I ordered 8, eight dishes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. But when in Rome, you got to do it. We're in Brighton. We're in Brighton. We're in Brighton. Not in Rome. You like Brighton? I love it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It took a while for it to grow on me. I had to go a few times. Mm -hmm. Didn't love it to begin with. 
now yes i'm really liking it mm -hmm. i'm maybe moving here mm -hmm. pretty soon mm -hmm. this is like another nudge in that direction mm -hmm. and yeah looking forward to eating some dirty pasta it's gonna be good well, it's getting stuck in to the olives i love olives yeah I, I can say I, can, I might come back to Brighton on How Friday. How do you answer for your olive consumption? Uh, my work speaks for itself. <laughs> I don't need to explain myself. Mm, you look at my work. Had some wine. Maybe that hey. explains. I might be coming back to Brighton on Friday because I'm going to have another interview with uh, the person that runs the pop-up art gallery that I briefly showed you earlier in the video. So I may be back here Friday to do that. And I might add a little bit more punch to the video because Damien already knocked it out of the park. So people here are very friendly. Kiva was very concerned that it won't be as friendly as uh, Hastings, but I think it's on the same level as in terms of people being open to talk. So which is fantastic because you know the more content, the better with regards to people opening it up about uh, what they're doing here in Brighton. So super cool. What do you think of Brighton in general? What are your impressions? Uh, the first impression that I got when I when we got off the train was bohemian vibe maybe a little bit hipster vibe uh, a lot of street art a lot of jewelry shops um, definitely busier than Hastings for sure um, maybe more of maybe more of like a younger crowd than Hastings I think possibly maybe got that college vibe to it maybe that millennial vibe uh, yeah Solange. Sub part one. <laughs> so hungry. Bob, are you hungry? I think Bobby's hungry. Do you feel bad? I feel really I feel really bad. We yeah. failed we failed him. We failed him. Bobby will we'll take you home. Don't worry, bud. Okay, we're on way back to the train station. I think we're full. Very I'm full. full. Yeah. Viva's full. full. Bobby's, I think, starving. Bobby's I think we feel kind of guilty. Ready for home. Feel super guilty. <laughs> He's just hungry. We're very bad parents. <laughs> very bad. Yeah. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Peace.